Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Oh, sorry, showed you my music. And tonight, I wanted to try something because there's a game that I started making a long time ago and you guys have been asking for scripting videos and everything else. And I have not been doing any kind of scripting videos because I've been like doing a lot of other stuff. So I've just been trying to like, get past the week without doing lumber, which I know a lot of you are like really upset about, but trust me, it's a good break for all of us, okay? And there's other things in the works, but scripting is one of the things that I love to do. I love just programming and scripting and everything else. So I'm not gonna teach you any specific thing on what to program today. I'm gonna go back to my game Theus, which I don't like the name anymore, and I don't like the way that th it starts. So, um, before we do anything, make sure to, boom, subscribe, like, comment, bell, stuff. Hold on, why did I not, oh, I didn't, <gasps> hold on. That's not what I wanted. Remove, yes, I'm sure. Cut that, and then I need to add that on this one. Display, capture, add existing, that one. And then I gotta move that down. There you go. So that's that's what it was supposed to do. But it went all black because it didn't have the actual thing on there, so. Cool. Um, well, let's get started. Infinite yield pill, infinite yield possible on workspace, wait for child code primate. That's because it's, wait, it's waiting for me. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so first things first, I don't like the um, start over here. Du, 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 du. So like when you hit F5, this is how the game's supposed to play. You're supposed to start out with this main screen and then like you select which ship you wanna be and then the ship will fly around. During intermissions, you go over to the, like the, the pause area. Like this is level one and then you have some shooty thingies, right? I made this a long time ago, but Anyhow, the, the point is, I don't like the way it looks. It's just, I mean, it's a, it's a lot of programming and it's a lot of early days programming. So um, I'm going to change it. Oh, there we are. We're back at intermission. This is gonna be like a, a top player's board, kill death ratio, stuff like that. Have a little shop in here where you'd like buy skins or something. Ah, level two. So, and th these are all just mock-ups. There's nothing set in stone yet. So, if you see any ideas or if you have any ideas of like what I could do to make it better, let me know. Brink. Anyhow, stop. I was thinking about making that first screen, like when you first join the level. Hold on, can I grab that? There we go, that's a little bit better. That's, that's the level. And all of those little spots, those are spawn points where you could possibly end up. And the reason for that is because I wanna have like 20 people in here at a time, two teams of 10, right? And you could be on like the red team or the blue team. And I don't want you all spawning in the same spot. So we'll take a collection of all these, um, spawn you in on one of them, remove that from the collection, spawn another one, spawn another one, spawn another one. That way nobody ever spawns in the same spot twice. That way you don't run into each other like, oh no, what happened? <clears throat> so, that's a thought there. <clears throat> now if we head back over to the lobby, same thing here, just a bunch of spawn points. Right, and those disappear. I've got a little script inside of them. Hold on, can I select just one of those? Uh, spawn hides, so. For all the spawns, spawns equal script.parent get children spawn. If the name is lobby spawn point, then the transparency equals one. And then we destroy the script after it's done. So whenever the game starts, all those disappear. It's a it's a good method for getting rid of the spawns. Uh, this is the lobby. Okay, hold on. There's the logo. And that is way up above the th thing, hold on. Oh, okay. So I think I'm actually using um, a GUI, aren't I? Hold on, let's go into the server storage. GUIs, ship select menu. It sure is, look at that. 
That's awesome. I was so smart to do that. But I don't want to do that anymore. I want it to look like the inside of a spaceship and you like oh like your your car select on like a video game where when you first get into the game it'll say Theus and then it'll like fade out and then you're like in a ship bay where the first ship is the uh what did I call it um ships the firebird which is that white ship that you saw in fact here I'll show you all of them I gotta open this back up so I know the names. Oh, I can't see it, can I? So this is the Firebird. I think this is the Arachnid. Hold on. Stop. I don't even remember what the names are. Firebird, Arachnid, the Flappert, and Shadow. So. And each one of them looks slightly different. I used to have a, a kill switch in there so you, you could tell and there's no difference in the ships right now. And I want to make it where, like, if you choose this one, you get a bigger firepower. Um, and if you choose the other ones, like, you get less shield, but more fire. Uh, this little bar up here at the top, I wanted this where, unless that bar is completely full, you can't shoot. Like, you hit the shoot button, it's going to go down a little bit. And you can get, like, maybe two shots off where choo choo, right? And you can't use boost until you've got some of that bar. And if the bar ever goes below zero, you die. So it, it'll make you preserve your shot for the best opportunity, if that makes sense. This is like super not what I want anymore. Okay. <clears throat> How am I gonna do this? I guess I should start by building the spaceship bay. Okay. So let's go ahead and delete this. We can go ahead and delete Theus logo. Um, let's go ahead and add a part. Let's see. Part. Where did that go? Whoa. Why did you appear all the way down there, dude? What? Okay. Let's delete that. Come on, where did the Theus logo go? Come here. Okay, I want to insert part. Model, you model. No, there's a model. Model, part, part. There. This will uh, designate the center of the logo. That way I can delete this. Boom. And now I want a copy of the ships themselves. So. I'm just gonna copy these, copy, and paste them into the workspace. Grab them. We're just gonna move them way up here. Thank you. Hold on. Yep, I didn't grab anything else. Just those. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go ahead and start building this out. Or, wait, I can always go look something up real quick. Hold on. Was it sketchfab.com? Oh, come on. Come on, sketchfab. There we go. Let's do space. Oh, I guess I should uh, <laughs> space ship. Spaceship. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. Hold on, what does that look like? Ooh, it's all, oh, there we go. Oh, that's the actual inside of a spaceship. That's not what I want it to look like though. I want it to look like a futuristic spaceship, not NASA. Um. Let's see, spaceship bay area. That's a destroyer, but that's just the outside. It's not gonna be the inside. What would it be? It'd be spaceship hull. It'd be the hull of the ship. 
Oh yeah, that's nice looking, but I think that's got some copyrights to it. Spaceship. Um, hull. Hmm. So if you don't know what I'm doing right now, I'm looking at Sketchfab. It's a website. No, it's not promoted. Um, let's see. Inside spaceship. Is spaceship one word? I think it might be one word. Inspired. Inspired to say, say ship. Inside spaceship. Ooh. What is this? Come on. Load the 3D model, please. That's kind of cool. It's like a... I like the way they did those. Like the little displays and stuff. Hmm. Get inspiration from these. But it doesn't look like I'm going to find what I'm looking for. So, we may have to go build it ourselves. Oh, wait, hold up. Hmm. That's starting to look kind of like what I want. Something kind of like that, you know? Where you got like these pipes and stuff in the background. Okay, I think we can do that. I can, we, can, we can do something like that. So, um, let's see. That is our focal point, right? Oh, what happened? So this is our focal point. So we're going to want to build a bay like this scale. Just gonna make a back wall here. Boink, boink. Like that. Looks good, kinda. All right, let's take all the ships. I'm gonna move them to the front here. Get out in front. I'm gonna change this material. Let's make it into metal. Looks pretty good, kinda, sorta. Now, the cool thing is they have these weird window looking things. And there's also these weird pillars. So let's lock this in place real quick. We're just gonna call this space wall <clears throat> and then I'm actually going to group that into a model and we're going to call that model the um, ship selection stage ship selection stage okay so let's uh let's line all these up Hold on what is your height sir you are on the what axis Position, position, position. Where's position? I'm going to look over here for position. Ah, oh, it's behind my chair. You guys can't see it. Uh, it looks like um, 1,127, something like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna round that out to there. So, 1101. 1101. And huge shout out to pro player and the other person I was playing with um, on the game that we played. That was a lot of fun. Fortnite. Fortnite. Sorry. We played some awesome Fortnite. Okay. Position. Position. Oh, no. I can't do it like that. 1101. 1101. 1101. 1101. Okay, so they're all the same height, so let's get them on the same axis this direction. Like that. And that one's squished a little bit, so we're gonna have to unsquish it. Yoink, yoink. Yoink, yoink, yoink. That looks better. I think this one's squished too. There we go. Okay. Unsquish. I remember. I squished them so they would fly straight. 
have a better plane of existence inside the game. Ooh. Okay. So, move you. Right here. Right here. Down one. Good. And I don't want them to be lined up like this. I want it to be like, selection one. And then you like press the, the D key and it goes, selection two. But they're, they're like not in scene with each other. So that they'd be like spread out. So you'd be like this, selection two, like that. But I want it to look like a, a space bay behind them. So uh, did I anchor this? Did I anchor that? I can't remember if I anchored it or not. Oh, I did not, but okay. So let's see what this looks like, just to start. Uh-oh, something unexpected tried, blah, blah, blah. <gasps> no, I've done something. Oh gosh. What is it supposed to be looking at? Okay. So, replicated storage is not it. Server storage. GUI controls. Clone. Okay, game functions. Round manager. Scorekeeper. I haven't done anything with the scorekeeping. Ugh, I completely forgot. So, so far I've not shown you any scripting today. That's horrible of me. Here we go. Camera script. Okay. So, um, Theus logo is game workspace Theus logo. That's what we're missing, because I just destroyed that, didn't I? Okay, well, let's call space selection, and the space wall, we're gonna make that the main part. So, primary part is space, oh. Primary part is space wall, and we're going to call this ship selection stage dot like get primary part get primary part C frame no just dot primary part there we go so maybe Hey, look at that. Uh, all of my spaceships fell down. <laughs> ah, dang it. All right, so we need to anchor those. Come on, anchor, 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 anchor. Boom. Try that again. There they are. And it looks like we're facing slightly off to the left. So let's go back up here. Um, this little part right here. Okay, so it's X, Y position is negative 22, zero. So this one needs to be negative uh, 22. And that's zero. Right? Oh but we need to move it this direction. There we go. That Now it's looking slightly down. So let's hit stop. Where's that part? There it is. Okay, so that's where the camera is. We're gonna take this part. We're gonna move it much closer. We're gonna take all of these. I'm gonna move them much closer. There we go. And slightly down. Try that. Yeah, it should be. Oh, <gasps> yes! Oh, that looks so good. Okay, okay. But you can see the floor and stuff. I don't like that. So. Let's go ahead and scale this down a little bit. Yoink. We're going to, okay, duplicate. This is going to move up like that. I'm going to 
rotate it in some, like that, and slightly forward, slightly down, and then I need another one down on the ground. Move up slightly, just like that. Good. No, what is it? Wrong button. Wrong button code. Uh oh. What's happened? Stop. I got too close. I got too close, didn't I? Oh no, I shrunk it, didn't I? Ha. Huh. Okay, hold on. Let's move the primary part, which is this one. Gonna move it down some. There we go. That should give us that angle that we were looking for. Because we're looking at the primary part. There it is. Nice. Okay. So, we're definitely gonna have to change the controls. Bind it so it's on the first one, second one, third one. So, the first default selection should be. I'm gonna have to get rid of the labels on each one of these. Actually, no, no I don't. I can call this by its name. So, Firebird, text label, name, font. Where does it, it say label? Oh, there it is. Um, and what do we call it? Firebird. And this label is Flappert. trying to keep an eye on the time. I don't want you guys getting too bored of just straight programming all day. This one is Shadow. And this one is the Arachnid, right? Or Text Label. These are actually going to be part of the ship selection. So let's go ahead and grab these and move them into ship selection. Wonderful. I'll even make a new model. We're just going to call this ships. That way we can keep everything nice and organized. And I don't think they need to have all that other stuff. You know what? I might want it just in case. So we'll leave it there. All right, we need to make this look all uh, professional, like a like an actual space place of some kind. So this back piece here, I'm gonna have to punch holes in it, aren't I? Hmm, let's see what this looks like first. Just real quick. Oh, that looks so good. Okay. So, let's jump in here and select all the ships. All the ships are going to move. We want the first one to be the Firebird. Nice. Stop. Now, each one of these, um, how do I want to rotate? to rotate like this slightly and like this slightly oh no nope, not like that there we go like that so this one's orientation is 45 degrees I should be able to paste that to all of these enter yeah so now we're gonna be looking slightly down on top of the ship itself yes yes 
put some st statistics up there on the left and right. Oh, we got a we got a nice scene going started. Okay. So, um, I know I'm not supposed to do this, but I'm going to totally do it. Um, great. Give us some references. Where's like some space crates? There's military crate. Okay, that's way too big though. And it's just one union. Ooh. Oh, it's all parts. All right, control Z. It looks like a military crate, all metally shiny, but that's not quite what I wanted. So let's make our own. Here we go. Right, where'd that part go? Control Z. Let's go over here, see how they've got these little pipes and these, these girders going up like that. So let's rotate this like that slightly, and then we're going to move this back about there. I like it, I like it, I like it. Scale this up. Nice. And then we're going to duplicate that, rotate it some, 45 degrees, 45 degrees, there we go, move, hold on, how do I do control L, there we go, that switches from global to local movements, oh, I like that, I like that a lot, okay, so let's copy those. These, uh, with the exception of that back wall, this one and this one, I should be able to scale. Oh, Control Z. Why did that not work? There we go. Grab this one like that. Now this one I don't want to do because this is the main part. So I'm going to duplicate and just move. Come on, buddy. There we go. Oh, did I miss one of the things? I think I did. Okay. We'll grab these two parts. Duplicate. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened there? Control Z. What is going on here? Okay. Space. Ceiling. ceiling, floor, space wall. Oh, and space wall's got the parts in it. Okay, so we're going to rename this to pillar. Copy that, and oh, I can't just rename them. Oh, what happened? Oh, I pressed F1. <laughs> F2, 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 good. Now we got some pillars going on. And we don't need these pillars inside this area. We can just put them inside the spaceship. We don't need the ships. There we go. Um, group, we'll just call this pillars. That way it kind of moves it into its own little group. Uh, I do need to duplicate those two. Duplicate, move. There we go. 
I want them to be kind of evenly spaced. Okay. This looks like this doesn't have enough room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How far apart are these? It's got just a little bit. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come back. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so, it'll start here, and then we'll move to the next. Move to the next. All of these got slightly off centered. What happened? Oh, you know what? Okay. Select all the children. Collision. Turn collisions off. Can collide. No. Can touch. Yes. But we're going to anchor them. Because it doesn't matter. And can we make them massless? I don't know if that, like, increases the... Alright. Can collide. Can touch. There we go. Massless. Try that again. Much better. I like it. I like it a lot. Stop. <gasps> We're at 30 minutes, guys. So, we have an idea. It's going to start here. It's going to go move. 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 But it's going to look like the inside of a spaceship. And each one of these, I want to put it on like a little floating pillar of some kind. Uh, maybe give it the flames coming out the back, maybe hooked up like it's getting ready for flight. I want to put windows in the back here, like big bay windows with like a space scene back behind it so you can see. But that's, that's the idea. That's the thoughts. Thank you everyone for joining me on this Lamag. Let's make a game. I didn't really do too much this time, just doing some modeling, doing some ideas and some thinking, trying to get back in the mood of like, let's go program some video games. And I hope that you've enjoyed. I hope that there's been um, something inside you that has just been awakened and been like, I'm going to go make my own game. Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll talk to you soon. Oh, do, do that. Yeah. Love you guys. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.